morning, Paul Brooks here from VRV from the OFC Show 2016 here in Anaheim. Today I'd like to talk to you about one of our most exciting products we just released, the ONT 400 gig. As you all probably have heard, 400 gig is a very, very hot topic. It's the next step from 100 gig needed for the high bandwidth demands, router, transport, as internet video continues to grow in bandwidth and demand, people need more bandwidth delivered intelligently. And 400 gig is the next logical step from 100 gig. So here today, we have bring out the very first test solution that addresses the needs of the early adopters of 400 gig technology, coupled with state-of-the-art CFP8 modules, which is going to be the new form factor for 100 gig te 400 gig technology. Couple that with our ONT test set. This test set allows you to see, visualize, and bring products to market very quickly. So you can see here applications that look at performance, individual lanes of the error performance. We've got applications that can dive down, uh, look at the signal quality, signal integrity. We've got applications that even go dive down into pins, voltages, and the power supply. All this is needed to make things work. We have test tools that meet the needs from physical layer, chip vendors, module vendors, all the way through, up through the IP, for Mac, FEC, all the other technologies. From chips to systems, the ONT covers all your needs from one gig to 400 gig. So why do we need all this bandwidth? We're seeing a demand for 100 gig hitting prime time, 400 gig being developed now. Why all this bandwidth? Well, let me give you a simple example. Many of you are on Facebook. I know my teenage son seems to spend an enormous amount of time looking at videos of chimpanzees on skateboards or chatting at the latest girl. So why, why do we need that bandwidth? Well, every time you engage with Facebook, even me posting a short message this morning, a short message saying, hey guys, I'm at the OFC in Anaheim, that little block of data goes inside that data center and gets multiplied by a factor of a thousand. All these applications look inside the data book, um, Facebook data center and say, hey, this guy's in Anaheim, what's around Anaheim, what restaurants are there, hey, which of his friends are there, any videos, any video links. So that small message going into the data center, that few kilobytes going in, can multiply to megabytes of data moving inside that data center. So that multiplication of bandwidth, we want today for our quality of experience, so we get the best experience from our social media apps, and we need to move around a lot of data to make that work. So that data multiplication factor is one of the key drivers of why we need so much raw bandwidth in our networks today.